What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Owl Production, back with another episode of the Owl's Eye View, here to recap UFC 300. In this video, we're gonna go over the fights, see what predictions I got right, see what predictions I got wrong, where was I wrong, so let's get right into this. First thing, Davidson Figueredo against Cody Garbrandt, got this one right, said Davidson is gonna outclass Cody, what, which he obviously did via submission victory. Personally, this was one of the easier fights to call, as I said in the video, those see it go in any other way. Next up, Jim Miller versus Bobby Green, another one I didn't see going any other way. For me personally, I said I to see Jim Miller go out in such a brutal way. Bobby Green was going for the finish, looking for the 300k bonus. I was surprised that he didn't retire right after the fight, which after that last performance, I hope he will soon. Bobby Green is an amazing fighter. He called out Patty Pimblett at the end of the fight, which would be a great fight for Bobby Green. Next up, Aljo versus Calvin Cater. Another easy fight. Another easy prediction. Aljo completely dominated Kater for three rounds. I saw many people were saying that it was a snooze fest, it was a boring fight, but what do you expect from Aljo? It was just a dominant performance. He came there not to waste any time, not to risk anything. He just went for the victory. Next up, Yuri Prokhaska against Alexander Rakic. As I said, Yuri by knockout. Rakic came in with a game plan. He was doing really good in the first round with those low leg kicks, and somewhere during the second round, for a second, I thought that he might get to Yuri, but Yuri and his unorthodox style were just too much for Rakic. I hope this will not be the last we see of Rakic in the top of this division. I still think he has a lot of potential and he can still propose a threat to a lot of the top guys in that division. Next up, the one and only fight I did get wrong, and that is Charles Oliveira against Armand Sarukian. I said Charles was going to win this fight with a submission victory in the second round. Although Charles did have two amazing submission attempts in the first and the third round, in the end, Armand pulled out the split decision victory. I saw a lot of comments on social media talking about it being a robbery. Charles should have won. Personally, I was rooting for Charles. I was betting on Charles, and I still don't think he should have won. If that fight is 10 or maybe 15 seconds longer in that third round, Charles does win it, and I would love to see this fight in a five rounder. It would be amazing to see Armand, I think, could still do a lot of damage to Charles. And Charles could maybe go for another submission attempt, maybe early on in the round, and get a submission victory. But it is what it is. Max Holloway completely showed why he is one of the best, if not the best, striker in the UFC. Dominated Justin Gaethje for five consecutive rounds. And in the end of round five, did not hesitate to point in the middle and go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, hit for hit, with Justin Gaethje. One of the best strikers in the ufc big respect to justin gaethje he got beat up for five rounds and still did not shy away from squaring up with max holloway and we know how much dangerous max can be in that situation and we saw how dangerous he is in that situation an amazing performance from max would we'll love to see more of him in the middleweight division he showed amazing skill and showed how you win the bmf belt one of the greatest finishes even though i had my money on this fight ending in a decision i was not disappointed by the ending and last but not least jamal hill versus alex pereira alex pereira by knockout pereira once again showed why he is one of the most feared fighters in the entire ufc after all the trash talk after all the mind games that jamal hill put into this fight waiting for alex pereira while he walked to the ring everything he did just for it all to be over in one clean hit the first clean hit that alex pereira landed on jamal hill left him looking like this jamal did everything he could to get into alex pereira's head but it just didn't work and for alex to knock him out in the way he did the way he just shrugged off herb dean after a hit under the belt from jamal hill and just goes for the knockout once again showed his incredible power and incredible striking absolutely amazing performance by alex pereira to submit himself as the best light heavyweight in the world now what's next for these fighters alex pereira i personally am not quite sure i think he could give a rematch to yuri or jan blachowicz being the only fighter 
not to get knocked out by Alex. And Yuri obviously having an amazing performance against Alexander Rakic. Another fighter in that discussion could be Magomed Ankalaev, but I personally think he needs one more good win to get that title shot. Next, Max Holloway. At the end of the fight, he called out Ilya. Ilya Tuporia looked completely terrified for Max. Do I think he's scared? No, I do not think he is. I think a lot of people are starting to underestimate Ilya already. We cannot forget this is the man that knocked out Alexander Volkanovsky, something that Max couldn't do in three fights. Even though I do think he won the second fight, he still could not knock him out. Do I think this is the fight to make? Yes, I do. I think it will draw a lot of paper reviews and I do think it would be an amazing fight to watch. Next, Armand Sarukian should get a title shot at middleweight after Dustin Poirier and Islam Makachev do fight, which is a fight that was announced yesterday by Dana White. Also another fight that I would love to see from some of the fighters at UFC 300 is Bobby Green against Patty Pimblett. I think it's an amazing fight for Patty and I do think it's an amazing fight for Bobby Green, an amazing fight that would have an amazing build up to it. Now, some of the fights that were announced at UFC 300 are obviously Islam Makachev versus Dustin Poirier as I said for the middleweight title will Dustin Poirier finally catch that title or will he come up short-handed once again that is a fight for another video Paulo Costa is going to be taking on Sean Strickland which will be an amazing fight and an amazing build-up I can't wait to hear these two talk trash to each other and obviously the return of the notorious Conor McGregor fighting Michael Chandler. I'm going to be doing videos on all of these fights, so tune in into that. And until the next video, it's been your boy Owl Productions. See you. Peace.